this was the mentality, the mentality of like pursuing music full time, leaving Singapore to a city where I've never been before alone. So these are like challenges that I had to even start imagining before I even you know decide if I wanted to do it. You know, I, I just felt that you know you had to have some gut, you know, and guts to to say I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna just make sure I succeed. You just gotta believe in it. You just have to try and work harder uh, than anyone else. You know, being from Singapore. And and eventually going to Taiwan to train as a Mandarin pop artist. I started almost handicapped, you know, my lack of ability to communicate fluently in Chinese. That was the main struggle. That was the main part that I had, you know, just keep keep going. People laugh at me and just shrug it off and just keep going and use it as like as something that was unique to me, I guess. Eventually it became part of me, you know, coming from a bilingual background. It became something unique. It has become a tool, an extra tool that I have, or you might say, an edge over other Mandarin artists who you who, who mostly just speak Mandarin. And at that time when I was starting out, there was so much in me that I wanted to prove, not just to my parents, but also to to myself, you know, and to of course people who are listening to my music. My fans and, and you know there was a lot in my mind uh, uh, in, in my heart like there was there was ambition there was like a lot of passion I wanted to show the world <laughs> my sound I was doing a lot of electronic fusion fused with like R&B hip hop ish rhythm sounds and a lot of rap at that time yeah well my like Michael Jackson infused kind of Kind of, kind of flow, you know. You know, I had a lot of creativity. You know, I wanted to, to, to be different in my sound, in my arrangements, in even the, the topics that I sing about. You know, I, almost when I was at my ten years into the game, into the music business, that was like a twist for myself because I was at a point where, where I felt, you know, I needed to change. I wanted to say something else about my music, about my life, about my state of mind. How do you stay real to yourself through your music without having to say it out? So I started to do a lot of uh, acoustic recordings. And, you know, I wanted to get capture a more organic sound in my music. And and then in my recent years, I think I've been trying to go in, to go in, go in inner, like more inner, deeper, you know, more into the to the inner self. The sound that I choose. Uh, has become not so much like a, a main issue for me anymore. You know, it's not about choosing what kind of sounds, but now it's more of the message. You know, the story that you want to tell, or it could be just a, an emotion that you want to portray, or color that you want you want people to see when you hear the song. So it's more of that, that emotion that I want to bring out through my music. I think nowadays it's more about that, or that that first instinct that you you you, you capture, you know, in a state of mind. Or as I was writing the song. Yeah, I think my music now, in the recent years, have become more like that. A statement through emotion. I guess being an artist is, has also kind of like brought out another me, curious side of me that I, I wanted to try and get involved in, in all kinds of work. I think to me, uh, being a good artist means you have to just expose yourself to different kinds of genres of work, not just being good at what you do, being good at your songwriting, being good at your producing or your singing on stage, but also the idea of being an all-rounded artist. As an individual, I, I wanted to uh, expose myself to um, different forms of work, including acting. So acting came into play when I was invited to be part of like different kinds of drama, even movies, so I tried a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fun, and it also helps to bring out another aspect of your you know, yourself. And eventually, that would also change how you feel on stage. I feel like this is all connected, you know, because every pro every part of the process of growing up and, and you know dabbing yourself in different kinds of work. I think that 
that is very crucial and that is important. It's not, a, it's not really about like how well you, ex, uh, you excel in, in that genre or in that area or aspect, but more of, you know, are you willing to, how much are you willing to give and to contribute? And eventually that also helps to bring out that real and full self, that full you, you know.